is J.J. Abrams Light coming in, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, welcome to Trace Variety Hour number 25. Um, I'm here with Tom Anderson at his, his place. Hey, Tom. I'll move into the light. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, this is going to be sort of a, a photo walk centric one. We had a, a great photo walk with some amazing photographers of all levels yesterday here in Los Angeles. It was a ton of fun. And we're going to be going through photos and telling stories and um, having a good time. We have all sorts of people in here tonight, and others might stop by and join us. Um, let's go around the horn for introductions and, um, and say hi to everybody and get to know some. Some new faces and some old, tired faces like Gordon <laughs> Lane. Uh, <laughs> hey, Gordon, you just took a giant bite before I introduced you. What's yeah, going on, Gordon? Yeah, I've just got the spinach in the teeth there. <laughs> I know I can rely on you for just constant abuse, though. Um, yeah, sorry, everyone. I'm just having my dinner at the moment. I'm very hungry. Um, my job is to review digital cameras and lenses. I publish those reviews at cameralabs.com. This week, Still testing the Canon G1X, their first uh, large sensor compact, and I've got loads of sample images of that. I uh, hope to publish my next seven review imminently, and uh, more and more and more. So uh, check out camelabs.com if you want to see reviews and, and that sort of thing. Thanks for having me on, and looking forward to tonight's Hangout. Okay. Great. Thank you, Gordon. Um, that will be a great review. And also, uh, if you guys missed last week, uh, I, I had a horrible connection problem, but Gordon basically hosted the whole show, and we had on uh, the photographer slash astronaut Ron Guerin. It was a great show, all about astrophotography, and I'm going to repost that. That was you did a great job, Gordon. So thank you. Oh, thanks, Trey. It was a really fun hangout. Um, unfortunately, all the some of the really juicy stuff didn't get recorded, but I mentioned it in the uh, in the stream. So um, there's some really interesting things about how they actually use their cameras outside in space. I couldn't believe it, but it turns out you can use a D3S almost unmodified in space without housing. Who'd have, who'd have thought that? That's cool. I didn't know that either. Um, okay, let's say hello to Brian Rose from Google. And then when you come, like, hey guys, I'm Brian Rose. I'm the Google Plus Photos community manager. You can find me on Google Plus. Just search for Brian Rose. And uh, I'm based out of LA. Cool. Thank you, Brian. Hey, we're getting some feedback from somebody. Who is that, Dave? I'm not sure. There was some female talking in the background, but it might have been Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yes. never, you never <laughs> know. Many talents. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's say hello to another Googler here, uh, the slightly less bearded than usual, Ricardo Lagos. All right, nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, my name is Ricardo. I'm an amateur photographer. Uh, I do a lot of different stuff. Uh, as I'm getting started, just basically whatever gets in front of my camera, landscape, a lot of street, um, and wherever the photo walks go. Um, and like you mentioned, I also do walk, uh, do work at, at Google, and, um, and it's a really, really fun job. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, and let's say hello to Liz and Terrence Louis. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Hi. Perfect pronunciation on the last name. Very impressive. Ah, well, we spend a lot of time in Asia, so we're very sensitive to that <laughs> side of the world. Yeah. Well, thank you for having us. Sure. You guys want to talk about your website or what you do or anything? Oh, sure. Um, well, I'm a major foodie and amateur food photographer um, from Pasadena, California, and I love to cook and write recipes and take photos of my uh, dishes, and I just decided you know, let's do this photo walk because I haven't been to Santa Monica in a decade. So, <laughs> uh, it was definitely fun to, to go to see all the new uh, structures they put up and keep some of the old stuff too. It was nice to have that walk down memory lane. Um, so I actually am an entrepreneur. I'm trying to do a startup right now, but um, in, spare, in my spare time, I do a lot of just photography and, and amateur photography and um, just dragged Liz along with me to the photo walk, and she, like, like she said, she loves doing photography too for her food. Uh, but we figured it was just, you know, doing scenic stuff was a little bit not our style, but you know, it was good, it was a good time to meet everybody at the photo walk. So. And you're sitting so close to each other because you are married. <laughs> yes, we are married. <laughs> TV coaster. <laughs> <laughs> a little different way. Um, 
So, uh, yes, thank you for coming to the photo walk, and that's why you're here, to share pictures and tell stories and, and this stuff. Um, and now let's say hello to Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Jessica Ambetz. I am an aviation photographer. I specialize in air-to-air -air photography. Um, I'm editor of an aviation magazine called Plane and Pilot Magazine, and I'm also a pilot. Um, when I'm on the photo flights, though, I'm not the pilot who's flying. I always have a pilot who flies me while I shoot photos. For this photo walk, I was up in the helicopter or being near the pier. Yes, thanks for coming out with your chopper run by. That was great. <laughs> and, uh, also, I'll give Jessica a plug. She is writing an ebook for flatbooks.com all about aerial photography, and it's going to be a winner. So, thank you for that, Jessica. Thank you. Um, and let's say hi to Dave, my most excellent producer. Hi, Dave. Hey, Trey. How's it going? Hey, Tom. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody can, can find me at plusdave.com. That'll give you my Google Plus profile. Awesome. Thank you. And also joining us after a week, a week's absence is Tony Wang from Twit. Hi, Tony. Hi, everybody. How are you? I am doing good. Good. So uh, if anyone wants to chat live, uh, you can go to live.twit.tv where this is all broadcast in high def and there's a great chat room and very nice people in there and we like to collect questions and, and this kind of stuff. All right, well let's get right into talking about this, um, this photo walk. Uh, first let me show you guys around here. We have some behind the scenes stuff happening at Tom's place. I didn't really tell people I was going to do this, but I will go ahead and do it. Um, back here. We're, Where's Anton? <laughs> I thought he was by the light. There's Anton Lorimer over there. Hello, Anton. The legend. The legend. And there's uh, Jude Wang over there. Hello. Uh, there's other people back there, but they're not showing themselves or being shy. Here's Margaret from New York. <laughs> Hello, Margaret. And would you like to introduce yourself? Joel, hi. Hello. Do you have a website or anything you want to plug? Uh, no, I don't want to plug anything unless okay. you're my car insurance. Oh, well. <laughs> um, they're doing some fun behind-the-scenes stuff here. We're all slanted now. So I think and that, that light is uh, right across your face. Is it? There you go. Too much? Does it look cool or is yeah, it too much? I think it's cool. Anton, can you pull your slide I'll leave it on if it looks cool. But maybe, it, can, it can be whatever you want it to be. It can be cool if you want it to be cool. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, um, so let's start by talking about the, the photo walk. Um, you know, we, we, I prepared a few things to talk about, and mostly it's going to be you guys showing photos and telling stories and this sort of thing. But I'll start with Tom and uh, kind of see what uh, Tom thought about it. It was one of his first bigger kind of photo walks, and uh, I know he... He was sort of in a different area than me, and we've been busy. We haven't really had a chance to compare notes yet. So what did you think, Tom? Well, I was very excited to see all the people out there. Of course, it was super fun. And I didn't get a ton of shots because I was meeting people and saying hi and stuff. But when I got home, I think I've already posted about this, and Trey and I have been shooting all day. Yeah. We started at 10 in the morning, and we went to the photo walk, and then after that, we went down to the Queen Mary and tried to shoot some haunted locations. The ghost ship. The ghost ship. Uh, <laughs> and then I had cool shots, and I was watching them all day, you know, looking at my, my screen. And when I got home and plugged in my car, there was nothing there. So all my wonderful thoughts and feelings about the photo walk were... <laughs> dashed <laughs> on the floor. So I got nothing. I have no shots from yesterday. And we've tried a couple of uh, card reader uh, utility recovery programs to get them back. Another one's like running on a computer over there. It takes an hour for it to come back and say, there's nothing here. Hey, so Tom, in your in your thread there, I posted a link to uh, on Ubuntu forums that somebody that had the same exact name of the volume and same kind of error and yeah. what they did to fix it. And basically, like, you would create an image on your drive of it, and that way you don't have to wait forever for it's trying to recover each time. Right. Wasn't that guy on Linux or something? Yeah, but it's, you know, you're on OS X, you can kind of probably run the same commands. Okay, I, mean, I don't know anything about Mac. I, didn't know that. I, was, I was ready to just send in, send in something and take care of it. I talked to a wonderful girl from India this afternoon on the phone. Customer service. I said I could just send it in, so I'm kind of... 
that. We can barely hear you, Tom. Oh. Uh, so I think I'm just going to send it in to get it fixed. SanDisk. I think it's a shell company. They don't actually call it SanDisk, but I think they own it, just so whenever you have those bad feelings, you don't associate it with them. <laughs> Tom, you must be the world's unluckiest photographer. I know. You destroyed a camera, and now you destroyed your memory. It's just not going right for you. Maybe a different hobby. <laughs> what do you reckon? I want to take up fishing. Knitting. Yeah. <laughs> just don't take your camera with you. Yeah, I destroyed my camera last week. It fell in the ocean. Uh, I've been arrested so far. I, haven't I would cry if that happened to me. I got arrested a couple weeks ago. I've almost fallen off a cliff. I almost got hit by a car. <laughs> tell the arrest story. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> tell, the, tell the arrest story. Photographers love stories about photographers getting arrested. Okay, can you hear me yeah. okay now? Yeah, if you, as long as you project, you're good. Okay, project. Um, so, uh, I don't know, three weeks ago I was in Hancock Park, I think is the name of it. It's near Koreatown in LA. And it's, it's a nice park. It's got a lake and buildings reflecting in the water so i just pulled over i was with another uh, photographer a young lady and we went and we were shooting we'd been shooting for about 10 minutes and these two guys started walking towards us they looked a little thuggish but we just kept shooting and then these cops roll up quietly they just rolled in on the grass they didn't have their lights up or anything and they started arresting those guys so i figured that they were suspicious i don't know they'd done something Maybe they saved us or whatever. We just kept shooting. And then, uh, I don't know, five minutes later, we started to walk away. And we were just leaving. We were done shooting. And then they came up to us and arrested us. And <laughs> turns out you can't be in this park after dark. So they didn't give us, you know, they didn't just tell us to leave or anything. They just, they handcuffed us and that was that. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. And then, then they said their their whole system is so slow. They said you can't go to your court date before X or Y. Wait like a week or something. So I did go down to the courthouse and try to take care of this, but it wasn't in the system yet. And now I missed my date, so now I have another warrant for my arrest. And I've been driving Trey's rental car. I'm not on the thing. I mean, I'm just waiting for something. Yeah. I'm gonna get taken down for something. <laughs> yeah. So we're driving around L.A. We're riding dirty. <laughs> it's not a good scene. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't think he was such a felon when I got involved with him. Right. So, yeah, I've been arrested. I've destroyed my camera. I've had all my shots go away into the ether. And I've almost died twice by hitting, I haven't told this either, but getting hit by a car on the road and falling off a cliff. Yeah. All in five months. <laughs> so Maybe Gordon is right. You yeah. do need a new hobby. <laughs> Tom, was all, was all this stuff happening before you took up photography? Because I don't know. Maybe maybe this sort of stuff happens all the time anyway. I was the, I was the golden child before that. Everything, <laughs> everything was cool. And did any, more importantly, did any of this happen before you met Trey? <laughs> yeah, he's got a bad mojo. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's, uh, let's start sharing photos from the event. Um, and telling stories. Let's start with uh, Brian Rose. Um, uh, Brian, do you have some stuff you want to share? Yeah, uh, there's a few photos from the from yesterday's Santa Monica photo walk that I'd like to go through. There's um, basically all this noise that you hear behind me. I'm at Google LA, and uh, one of our uh, VPs is here. So there's just a lot of activity. It's usually not this loud. So if you're having trouble hearing me, just let me know, and I can uh, maybe switch to a new room. Cool. But, was that you just posted a bikini photo. I did. I, I'll show you uh, some of my photos first. Yeah. I want to hear more about these bikini girls, too. So, um, yeah, this is the photo that I, I just shared. There are uh, two girls on the beach, um, basically just, you know, they're sunbathing. And uh, that's when 200 photographers came and <laughs> asked to take their photo. So right. there's a, uh, that's not a photo of two girls in that bikini that you're showing us, but that's cool too, though, <laughs> that you're describing. Which, uh, which photo are you seeing? It's the little the kids girl. on the ride. Two girls on the ride. <laughs> wow. uh, let me double check. There might be uh, a delay in the hangout. Yeah, I see bikini girls. <laughs> you do? Are you seeing, are you seeing it now? I see three girls on a ride. I still see the three girls on the ride. <laughs> okay. There, oh, there it is, girl. yeah. <laughs> so let me uh, take down that point of feedback for the Hangouts team. 
But basically, <laughs> there, two girls on the beach, they're just sunbathing, and then uh, 200 photographers swarmed, uh, you know, descended on Santa Monica Pier, and uh, we asked if they could, if we could take their photo. So um, with this one particularly, I just really liked the light that was uh, coming through. And uh, I tried my best to boost the saturation on her tattoo, just because I really like the, uh, the colors there, the contrast. So um, yeah, this was the favorite photo that I, I took, uh, but I can actually go through some of the photos that other people have taken, which I think are actually much nicer than the ones that I've gotten. Sure. Hey, Brian, let's come back to you when there's less background chatter, because it's a little bit chatty chatty back there. Is that OK? Sure. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, let's jump over to uh, Liz and Terrence. Uh, do you guys want to show us some photos you took and then maybe show us some of your other favorites or maybe share some stories with us from the event? Sure, love to. Well, the first one is um, my suggestion to Tom as his hobby. <laughs> Check this out. Okay. So I was so excited when I took this picture because I'm like, babe, we need to call TMZ. I'm going to cash this thing in. He's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, um, isn't that Keanu Reeves? <laughs> <laughs> so you can definitely be a stunt double for Keanu Reeves if you get bored. I'd like to do that. We shared the same name in the, in the Matrix. Yeah, Mr. Thanks. Anderson. <laughs> Neo. Um, so actually, this isn't showing up. Some, oh, this, this particular photo... Um, was one that I had posted. Um, and as I said at the beginning, you know, Liz and I aren't really scenic photographers. So, you know, I tried some of the pier and tried some of the other things, but it wasn't quite working out for me, or at least compared to, I think, some of the other people on Google+, Plus, I, I get a little bit of shame um, when I compare myself to them. But I, I'm usually more about light, um, different angles, different things. And, and as, I was, as I was trying to take a picture of the, um, of the, of the Ferris wheel that had lit up, um, you know, I, I noticed that, Oh wow! There's you know when it when it lights up really well like against and the tide rolls in you get this beautiful reflection in the sand and that's when I was able to take kind of this this purple um, reflection um, on onto the sand. Um, so that was one of them. Um, another picture we took. Um, I'm trying to find it. This particular one again. Um, it's it was one of the telescopes that was by the um, by the Ferris wheel and, and the thing that spins. And I'm all I'm all about like I said taking views from different perspectives. Um, and so Liz actually, when we had walked by, they said, "Hey, you know, that's um, it's not showing up in the Hangout yet. I don't think." Can we um, see anyway, it? no, we can see it. We can see oh, it. You can see it. Okay. Yeah. Um, oops, it's moving. Um, you know, Liz had suggested that I actually take a picture of that one um, because she really liked, you know, the kind of the, um, you know, the symbolism with the telescope looking out and, and taking a photo from that one. So, like we said, we kept trying to find different things, uh, different items and objects um, along the pier. And Santa Monica is a great place to do that, right, Liz? Because there's all sorts of objects and things. It is. And it's just one of those, you know, like nostalgic, you know, photos that you're like, yep, this is what I think of when I think of the pier, as, especially as a kid. You said you hadn't been there in so long. Where do you two live now? Uh, we live in Pasadena, right? Pasadena. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, on the Rose Parade Road. <laughs> so not far from you hadn't been out. Wow. Yeah, we don't, we don't go to Santa Monica too often. I mean, definitely not the pier. I mean, sometimes, like, she loves to shop. So sometimes third street and, and things like that, but you know, not too much the um, not not too much the actual pier. Right. Yeah, the parking alone. I mean, even without the Cirque du Soleil, is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, parking was rough, for sure. Uh, did you guys have any uh, stories you wanted to share? Anything that uh, happened that you thought was funny or interesting? Well, I mean, first, people I met just saying hi randomly. They're all really nice and sweet. And then to top it off, there was a gentleman who made, you know, fudge for everybody. And I saw him. I actually didn't get one, but I saw him walking around one hand with the camera, one hand with that tin of fudge, and he was handing it out while snapping pictures. And I thought that was so endearing. And this is like, you know, the, the best scenario for our community. And actually, the fudge was really good. So I got a piece. <laughs> but the fudge was excellent. So it was, it was really nice on that guy's part. Yeah, that was very nice of him. You know, before these photo walks, I always, like, stand up and give some sort of Mussolini-esque speech to the crowd, and I announced as usual that my mom has made fudge, but she didn't make enough fudge for everybody. And this kind gentleman named Joe Valley, he stayed up all night making hundreds of pieces of fudge, and he distributed them to everybody, so that was cool. He has a picture of his kitchen, too, while he was making it all. He put that online. 
Yeah, so I guess most people understand how uh, tags work in Google Plus, and just in case you don't, if you go click on that Pound LA Photo Walk, you'll be able to see hundreds of photos from the event, and uh, it's very fun, kind of uh, interactive way to kind of engage, even if you weren't, even if you weren't there. All right, well, thanks, uh, Liz and Terrence. You guys are quite the dynamic duo. Uh, you know, you remind me of uh, uh, Shirley Lowe. And Charles <laughs> Liu, because they're another they are. Couple. They're so yeah. sweet. Yeah, they're, I love they're them. Another uh, couple uh, that goes around and does what you guys do and recommend shots to each other. That's kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> I, I understand you. you have no reaction because you're in the middle of it all, but <laughs> I think it's interesting. Um, but I guess we do that in a way. <laughs> um, Hey, so uh, I'm going to share a bunch of other photos, but let me share this one in particular. This is not my photo. Um, you might remember those bikini girls from Brian Rose's picture. Oh, yes, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and here is, uh, this is one taken by Cam Meadows, and uh, this is Tom looking kind of professorial as he explains <laughs> the... Uh, Benefits. What did what did he say about this? Oh, I don't know. He had something, something good, that, which now we're failing to. Yeah, he said funny caption. I won't. I won't. Uh, won't spoil it. Yeah, we won't spoil it for you. You gotta go to Cam Meadows' profile. These girls were the dates of these two guys, who were they were they they claimed to be models. I don't know if they were real models or. <laughs> they look pretty real. They, they they were out there, yeah. They they were out there throwing frisbee in a in a very sort of studied and obvious fashion. And I don't know. They were very happy when the two hundred photographers showed up and started shooting them. So those are those guys there. But yeah. Now for everyone watching at home, Tom is the one on the right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tom there is you. the one with the shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, if it weren't for the hat, you could never tell. Yeah. We're going to have uh, uh, Jessica share some photos in a minute. But uh, first, I wanted to ask Gord, because these photo walks, they're kind of happening all over uh, the world now. And they've been happening for, for quite a while, of course. Uh, people have been doing these for a long time. But Google Plus seems to be quite a sort of a rallying point for all this activity because uh, it's just easy to organize. and. A lot of just very active photographers hang out on Google Plus, so it's a nice place to, to rally people up. So I wanted to ask Gordon a little bit about it, and I wanted to describe what it was like for him to organize a photo walk in Queenstown. And maybe if you are in a big city or a small town, uh, you can kind of follow his template and get together a little uh, photo walk of your own because they're, they're great fun. So why don't you share that experience with us, Gordon? Yeah, sure thing. Um, I like like a lot of people here. I've been hearing so much about photo walks uh, from Trey and uh, Thomas Hawk and Lotus Carroll and everyone else, and it, it always sounded like so much fun. And uh, I was kind of sat here in Queenstown, New Zealand, thinking, you know what? I wish there was one here. You know, why doesn't someone organise one of these things? And then, of course, the little light bulb appears above your head. You can't see it because I've propped the image off. There was a little light bulb here, <laughs> and uh, you go, well, why don't I organise it myself? You know, so. Um, you think, well, how do I kind of rally together a bunch of photographers, especially in a town like Queenstown? It's quite small. There's about 10,000 people here, um, but it's a very transient population. Uh, lots of people come here only for six to 12 months and then head off somewhere else. So how do you communicate to them that you're going to have this sort of event? So the first thing I did was post something on Google+, and that's when I discovered that. Um, has Brian gone, by the way? Can he cut me He's off? coming back. He's Right, I'll get it out now and say um, not many people in New Zealand are on Google+. Plus. So I put it out on Google+, Plus and didn't get much response from it. So the first thing I would say is know, <laughs> know, where, your, uh, know where your people hang out. You know, if they hang out around a tree, then post the announcement on a tree. And it turns out that most people in New Zealand hang out on that other uh, network that rhymes with Lacebook. And... Um, as soon as I posted it on that, I got loads and loads of feedback. There's also a neat trick you can do if you don't have many people uh, following you, as, as I don't, compared to, say, Trey, anyway. Um, use hashtags and things to get people who do talk about things to spread the word. 
and this this was very effective for me on Twitter because I don't have many people from Queenstown and New Zealand following me on Twitter. So I thought, well, how do I get this message out to them? So I hashtagged Queenstown. And there's a big tourist company in Queenstown called Destination Queenstown. And they they looked for any mentions of Queenstown. So they saw the hashtag and retweeted that out to a much bigger local audience. So there are ways that you can get your message out through social media very effectively, even if you don't know anyone and even if you've only got a very small number of followers. Um, and the nice thing is that after that had happened on those three networks, it kind of spiraled on from there. And the local paper got in touch with me and said, oh, do you want to do a story about it? And that, in turn, was picked up by some people who were just arriving in town for the day. You know, they just arrived. We had some people from Australia who just come in on the plane, picked up a newspaper and thought, oh, that looks fun. It's happening tonight. I'll go along. So it's, it was surprisingly easy to kind of get that message out and, and organize that. The worst thing I did was to ask people what day they wanted to do it on, because, of course, everyone says a different day and a different time. So don't even bother with that. Just say, it's on Saturday the 17th. If you can come, great. If you can't, uh, uh, you know, it's like organizing any event. If you, you know, you can't, don't ask people what date to do it. Uh, but it was, it was great fun. We had about 30 people turn up, which was a nice small, a big enough group that you got to meet lots of people, but a small enough group that you got to be very personal with all of them. And some, I filmed a video about it that I'll, I'll post a link to. Um, and uh, some people have commented who've been on some other photo walks and said, what was nice about it is they saw lots of tutoring happening, lots of the more experienced photographers helping the less experienced ones. Um, and I got a lot out of it as well because I made sure I invited some people. Always invite people who are much better at something than you are so you can learn from them too. You know, you've got to get something out of it as well. But there was no fudge. <laughs> <laughs> Were you, hey, do you have a few photos you want to share from the photo wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Dave, are we having problems with the uh, screen share? Is it going to work? It should work, but it's just, it's like not updating that quickly, it seems like, for everybody. Okay, can you see this? Yes. You're gonna make I a see, thumb. we yeah. see, there we go, yeah. We see the thumbnails. Okay. Now it's yep, big. we're good. Okay, so I picked out a few photos that were taken with, um, taken by different people in the photo wall. This was done by a guy called uh, Cody Westfall. The, one of the things, now I didn't arrange for this boat to go past, but I did arrange for the photo walk to start at a time when I knew this boat was going to go past. This is the other thing you can do is, is try and have things set up at different times to kind of keep the pace going and to also drive it so you think, you know, we've got to be at this location by 7 p.m. or by 8 because something's going to happen. And this steamship goes across the lake on yeah, every two hours uh, on the hour. And I made sure that we started it 15 minutes before, so we all got to, we all got to see this. Um, I really like the photos that people take of other people on the walk. This was, I think, taken by uh, Sophie Kennedy uh, with a Canon G11. And she got some really great behind the scenes shots of these here. Apologies if I get anyone's names wrong. Um, th this was a shot by Scott Kennedy, uh, Sophie's husband, who takes some fantastic pictures. And he said something interesting to me that Queenstown is a very uh, scenic place. It's all about big, epic landscapes. And, and Scott came back with all these textures. And I said, Scott, what are you doing? You're in one of the most beautiful places in the world. You're not taking pictures of the mountain. He lives here, so that's forgivable. And he said, well, you know what I do? If I see everyone pointing the camera in one direction, I'll point mine in the other. So he, he came back with lots of nice uh, textures there. Uh, this is a car by Lisa, who I believe might be on the Twitch chat. So if you're there, Lisa, um, good luck with everything. And, and it was great to see you. She came down from Palmerston North. Here's one of my pictures from uh, towards the end of the day with the sun setting over the lake. This was done by, this is a picture uh, by Jason Law, who's got some fantastic pictures on Google Plus if you want to follow him. Big landscape shots. And this is um, always nice to get some pictures in context as well. You know, you, you take pictures of the landscape, but take pictures of the people taking the pictures as well. I always find that quite fun. And uh, last of all, here's a photo by Eden Braxton, who uh, I think Trey knows, a uh, really nice guy who, uh, even though he shoots too much HDR for my my, uh, my own personal taste, but this this was a nicely restrained HDR shot. This is the kind of HDR I like where it's not too obvious. So, it you know, we, we had the, a real kind of variety of, of people who had different skills, some complete beginners, some who were actual professional photographers, and we all kind of helped each other. I think the only thing that really went wrong, apart from obviously the arrests and the explosions, I couldn't do anything about that. The, the thing that really went wrong was, was not telling people how long it was going to last. Because 
a lot of people may not have been on a photo walk before and they're, they're thinking, um, is it going to be half an hour? Is it going to be an hour? You know, they, they don't really know how long, how long it's going to be. So try and give them some sort of indication and let them know if it, if it does go over dinner time, people who are greedy like me, you know, we want to eat. It gets to six or seven o'clock. If the food's not in front of me, I turn into a moody, moody person, uh, which is why you saw me eating just then. So if it is going to go over at meal time, make sure people know, and you know, so they can take something with them or, um, you know, pre prepare for that. But that was the only real complaint we had on it. And hopefully we'll be having another one soon. So keep an eye open for that on uh, Google Plus and Twitter. And I'll post a link to the video that I made because they're really useful to, to kind of show to people what happens on a photo walk and what they can expect. Cool. Thanks, Gordon. Uh, by the way, I'm going to tell you this because you're a friend. Uh, but, you know, uh, I hear this all the time. People say like, oh, this is quite a nice HDR because it's quite restrained or it's quite mild. <laughs> I'll tell you, speaking on behalf of photographers that happen to swim in that milieu, that we always find those comments to be laced with a little bit of condescension. <laughs> but I can take it. It's no problem. My defensive <laughs> senses perk up when I hear that. But it's okay. That, that, that's, be, that's because it's intended to be given with uh, that condescension trait. <laughs> that's all right, Gordon. You son of a gun. All right. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, actually, though, I want to say thanks for those tips. And I'm organizing one in Hawaii on uh, Sunday photo walk, and I didn't think about end time. So, are we announcing this right now? No, no, no. We're not. There's no announcement now. It's a secret that Trey's going to do that. But right now, they just, they think it's just me. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll we'll, we'll just see move away from that subject. Nobody heard that. Here, I'll share a few of my favorite photos from the photo walk. Um, these are taken by other people. Um, so let me screen share and go over here. Uh, by the way, I was reading the comments, um, Jessica. Yes. And I see here uh, that somebody said, uh, Craig Collins, you have a fan here with Craig Collins. He appears to be a large man holding a small helicopter. Cool. <laughs> and he says, Jessica, you're my idol, both a pilot and a photographer. Cool. Thanks, Craig. There. Um, and also, I see that many people on Twit TV are complaining about that J.J. Abrams light behind me. We have taken action, and that light is now moved. I apologize. <laughs> uh, hope you tune back in. Okay, here's some photos that uh, – there were many great photos that I found that I liked. Uh, here's some of them. Uh, this is by uh, Rudy Serrano. Uh, we spent some time underneath the pier – and he got over there before the rest of us while the sun was still up. And I kind of, I kind of like the way these these rays are coming through. It's it's pretty slick. Um, I dig that one. Okay, here's another one I like. Um, this one might be my favorite. This is from Robin Griggs Wood. She was there. She was very nice. Let me scroll. Here it is. Yeah, this is great. Terrific. Really, really smart. Um, and it kind of makes you think, you know, when I see stuff like this, I think, uh, oh, you know, I wish I had gotten something like that. Because, you know, there's always these pits and kind of mistakes in the beach and, and this sort of thing. And it, it really makes you want to use some of these uh, strange shapes to your advantage when composing a shot. So I thought that was very smart of her. Mm -hmm. You know, Trey, what I love about that shot is that she managed to find a way to take a shot of the beach without anyone else in it in a photo walk with about 200 people in it, right? Yeah. Right. So that, was, yeah. that was really tricky to try to get around everybody. Um, so I have a few shots where you know, it was just like, oh, that one person wasn't there. It would be, you know, a little bit better. But this, you're right. This is an excellent shot in, in, from this perspective of just, you know, getting getting that small imperfection in the beach and really nobody else in the shot. So that's where a ten stop ND filter comes in handy. You just make the people vanish with the long exposure. <laughs> How do you feel about photoshopping them out? Are you against that? No, there's nothing wrong with that. No. We were we were discussing that earlier. Yeah. Trey Trey will remove, but he will not add. Yes. I, that's true. I will add. <laughs> yeah, you you have a wider net than I do in that regard. Okay, uh, let me share one more photo, uh, and then I'll, I'm going to share a ton later. I'm just going to scroll through the through the tag and we'll look, but I'm just going to share one other favorite. I hate to pick favorites, 
because uh, there's really many, but I just kind of just selected three. I thought this was quite nice. Um, the way that this was captured by Li Cheng kind of made it feel like it was an island or an offshore drilling rig or just the, the light is really nice and I like how he used compression to make the clouds bigger and he just did a great job and obviously it's a long exposure and the, the water's all smoothed out and I think it came out really sharp. So that's a cool one. All right, let me unshare my screen and then uh, go over to Jessica, who flew by with a, a helicopter and got all kinds of shots. Um, so you can share some of those and share some stories and uh, just, you know, use this opportunity to tell us more about you. Uh, sure. Is my screen sharing working? Yes. Okay. So we thought it would be cool to get a shot of the group from the air. Um, I went up in a helicopter, a Robinson R44 launched out of Santa Monica Airport, which is where I also fly out of. Um, a friend of mine flew me in the helicopter and we, we took one of the doors off that I was able to shoot out of. So this is a shot, I guess we got there around five o'clock, 4.45, five, kind of when the photo walk was starting. Um, you can see the little, the group to the right of the photo um, over there by the parking lot. Let's see, here's a tighter shot of the pier. It's kind of a busy day at the pier. There's Tell the group. What kind of uh, lens and camera you were using? I was using. Uh, I shoot with a Canon 5D Mark II. The lens I had was a 70 to 200. Um, and you know it's tricky shooting from a helicopter because there are a lot of vibrations. So you have to hold really steady when you're when you're taking the shot. When you have the door off, are you just completely strapped in, or are you kind of moving around the? The helicopter, or you? Uh, normally, I'll wear a harness if the door is off the airplane. In this case, I, I was I had the seatbelt on, and I wasn't moving around. No, I I was just sitting in the seat, kind of leaned back away from the door because I didn't want the lens to get in the airstream so that it wouldn't shake at all. Mm -hmm. Have you ever used gyros? I have, you know, and if this this flight was kind of put together last minute, as you know, Trey, and so if I had had more time, I would have rented a gyro. But um, they're they're great, especially for shooting from a helicopter. Cool. We'll keep going. Sorry to interrupt. No problem. Here's another shot of the group with the the shadows from the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster. And here's another group shot. I posted this one to my Google profile, and people have been tagging themselves, so that's cool. And here, this this is the photography I normally do, air-to-air -air photography, where you wow. shoot one plane from another plane. I so Jessica, that's not a real picture, is it? That's not real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> yeah. This was shot at the end of the day. You know, it's the last light of the day, the low light. I was in an airplane with the rear door removed. I'm harnessed in, kind of, I'm facing backwards in the seat, and another pilot's flying me. And I give positioning instructions to the subject plane, to this yellow biplane, through my pilot, um, such as like 10 feet higher, 20 feet lower, and we'll fly the chute like that. How close were you to that plane? This, um, we were probably 30 or 40 feet apart here. Oh, wow. So this is a dangerous hobby. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't it has its risks. Um, I, I minimize the risks in certain ways. I have a set of formation pilots that I use on all my flights. They're all you know, highly experienced with formation flying, which is a specific type of skill. And we've we've worked together many times, so I, I wouldn't do this with just any pilot. Yeah. Show us more, Jessica. Um, Tom, given your luck with photography, don't do that, yeah. okay? <laughs> yeah. These are the the Blue Angels, um, FA-18 Hornets. Uh, we I shot this from the back of a C-130. It's a, a military cargo plane with the rear ramp door open. There were a few photographers on this this shoot, and we were sitting in the back, harnessed in. They, did you? Did they have to slow down for you? They um, probably yeah. a little bit. <laughs> so this is over Big Sur, right? You're flying over. This Big was Sur. over Big Sur. We launched out of Salinas, California. There's a little airport there where yeah. they had they had performed at an air show there. We we went up um, and turned down the coast. We went over Monterey and turned down. So this is somewhere over Big Sur. And how did you find your way into the back of a C-130? Uh, uh, I was invited on that flight. 
Awesome. Yeah. Jessica, it wasn't some. Every time we see those planes, there's always some James Bond villain that tries to throw you out on some netting. That didn't happen, did it? <laughs> Unfortunately, not. Oh, good. Okay. This is um, one of the things I enjoy is um, shooting kind of mismatched aircraft. Um, it's just it's challenging, and I enjoy that. This is the the little red biplane with the Citation jet. Um, it's a challenge because they're they're di they're so different in size and the air speeds are different. There's a lot of different things to take into consideration. You got it right over this, the Transamerica building. Yeah, that's what we were aiming for. This shot took a lot of coordination and a lot of planning in advance. Um, it was during Fleet Week a few years ago during the air show. We launched um, after the air show one day with with the the low light at the end of the day, and we flew a series of orbits by downtown to try to get the Transamerica building. And did you plan it so that you could see the pilot's faces in the light? I do. That's one of the things I try. You know, with the low light, you usually can get the pilot's face, and I ask them to sort of lean into the sun. It's hard on them because they're flying, you know, directly into the sun. See, they both have sunglasses on, but it's hard work for them. This uh, hobby does not seem inexpensive. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a hobby for you. Right? Like, how do you how do you arrange all these? Things? I mean, it's not a hobby. Well, you know, I work for an aviation magazine. I do a yeah. lot of air to air for them, and then I do a lot on my own. This is a, a little Cirrus plane of force over the Grand Canyon. Wow! What lens is that, Gordon? I can't believe I beat you to that question. <laughs> I know. I'm letting I you, I'm letting this you take was it. a while ago. I believe it was a twenty-eight to one thirty-five which is a lens I like a lot for air-to-air -air, um, because it's image stabilized and it seems to be the, the right focal length for the distance the planes are flying. Do you ever have Jessica, a, you were talking. Sorry, Tom, go ahead. I was just going to ask, do you ever have pilots that just ask you to shoot them? That they, they want I do, yes. Um, owners of airplanes, uh, I'll do a lot of shoots like that. You know, they get a new airplane or they just want kind of glory shots of themselves and I'll go up and, and shoot them and they'll hang them in their offices or hangers or what, whatever they want. Yeah. And Jessica, Jessica do, you, do you need questions. somebody to help you carry your bags next time you go online? <laughs> yeah. I'm really good at that. <laughs> That's unreal. This is a, um, a Citation jet. I shot this from a Piper Seneca, which um, you can take the rear door off. And I'm again, I'm sitting backwards harnessed in. And, you know, asking my pilots to lean into the sun, to smile. Um, they're working hard, but I try, try to get them to relax a little bit so it doesn't show up in the, in the shot. Trey and I just decided we want a shot like that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can do that. In a stealth, in a stealth bomber. In a plane, too. <laughs> yeah. How do we do did, that? Did you, did you see on the Twitch chat that someone thinks the guy on the right, as we look at them, looks a bit like Leo? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You should have Brian Rose send an email to uh, like Larry or or Sergey see if they want a shot. We'll take them. Yeah, we'll yeah. Jessica. Yeah, they can uh, finance this whole thing. Is my screen share off? No, yes, show us more, Jessica. Off. We're going. Um, actually, to the that is all that I had set up to show. Oh. Okay. Oh, can you yeah. try harder? <laughs> so, <laughs> here, well, I'll, let me, I'll throw it over to Brian Rose. I think if you go to my Google profile, there are more. Okay, yeah. go, go or, find or my website, which is jessicaambats.com. Photos and uh, to entertain us, uh, I'm going to go over to Brian and have him uh, share some photos from the event in the meantime. Right before I do that, Jessica, I, I just had one question about your uh, Trans America shot with the yeah. uh, the two planes that are they almost look like they're about to touch each other. They're so close. Are they? Uh, are there any tricks that you can do with the lens, like? If you're using a telephoto zoom, that helps compress that space. Certainly, yeah. If you zoom in, um, it will definitely compress the planes. They look a lot closer in that photo than they actually are. They are they are close to begin with, so that helps. But um, it, it it is it's a trick of compression with the lens for sure. Yeah. Cool. Is I, I'm not sure. Is my screen share still on or off? It's off. It's okay. Off. Cool. Jessica, I have a question. Yes. Do those shots you get them pretty much on? First try. <laughs> um, well, I've been doing this for for quite a while, so I've got the hang of it by now. But no, you know, on any given shoot, you'll go up and you'll fly for an hour and just take lots of lots of photos. Um, the the big trick in it is to be real steady with the camera, because especially with propeller planes, you're shooting with a low low shutter speed. 
because that gives the nice um, blur to the prop arc that you see in some of the photos. So you have to be really steady to do it. So if it's a bumpy day, it's pretty tricky and it'll take, you know, a fair amount of photos to get one really nice and sharp one. Sorry. Cool. All right. Uh, Brian, go wild. Everyone, watch out. <laughs> watch out now. Cool. So, uh, hopefully, um, you guys can see my screen now. Yep. So, um, yeah, I really like this photo from Enrique. He's uh, a local photog here in LA. He actually uh, hosts photo walks pretty, pretty often. He does a lot of uh, night photo walks, likes to focus on. Uh, a lot of long exposures, and so um, it was nice to see him out of his element, taking these uh, black and whites when there's so many other people doing either HDR or, or color photography at the pier. And so this was another one uh, where you know he waited for the right moment. I don't, I'm not sure if he actually used Photoshop to crop anyone out, but it seemed like he was just uh, waiting for basically an open space in the in the sand to take this photo. So uh, yeah, I like the comp composition of this here. It's just the emptiness. Um, and then there's a few others in this album as well. You can check them out. Enrique Gutierrez, you can see his name there. There's also um, Lauren. I, I like the colors coming from the uh, the sky here, also the from the twilight, but then also just the motion from the um, the long exposure of the flag. I thought that was pretty nice. There's um, yeah, just something really really interesting to me about the photo, the, the different ge geometry and the shapes. Um, but yeah, for me, it was really, I, I like to see motion in photos, so um, this was pretty nice. And then lastly, I love this photo by uh, Chris. Um, it's just another uh, somewhat long exposure. You can see the, uh, the water's kind of blurred out there, but just the, the reflection in the sand from that, uh, that wet sand, is, I thought it was pretty slick. So, uh, I mean, overall, the, uh, the photo walk was, was just amazing. I, uh, I had a, a real blast just meeting all these uh, new friends, new photographers, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was great meeting everyone. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for all your support. Uh, we appreciate it. I, I think uh, Tom, has a, he had a funny encounter, or well, not funny, he had an interesting encounter, yeah, a uh, little story. I'll let him tell it because it's pretty awesome actually yeah your photo well the photo you just shared reminded me of is the, the one with just the one guy out there I met one of the first people I met when I came out was um, an older lady uh, probably in her 50s and she told me that she's agoraphobic and it was photography that actually got her to start coming outside again and sort of helping for some reason when she's got a camera in her hands she's able to get over that a little bit. And her husband was actually in a hotel uh, up on uh, Ocean, not far away, just so she, if she, you know, started feeling the anxiety of that, that she could get back to a place if she needed to right away. But it was pretty awesome. She was a super cool lady. And, you know, talking to her, you wouldn't think that she had an issue with this at all. But it just, it's just another one of those things where it just, shows you what, you know, photography can do for people. Why, why? I don't know, but for some reason she felt comfortable being able to come out and be in the open space around all these people with her camera. And she was so excited to be there and she met a bunch of people and I'm not going to say her, her name because she's like, it's, you know, she was kind of, it's, it's a secret a little bit about how she was feeling about it. But that was a, that was a nice moment I had before, uh, Everything went wrong for me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you should have stayed inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it was, uh, yeah, these photo walks are great. And that speaks to one thing that I don't think most people know is that whenever you go to a photo walk, uh, I would say over 50% of the crowd is new and it's their first photo walk. Um, so don't let that dissuade you from photo walks in your local community. Just go out. And most people there are new. Most people there are getting to know each other. And that's, that's kind of the most powerful thing about it is that it's not like when we do it, it's not like Trey centric and or Tom centric. It's like community centric, and that's when things really get interesting when the community starts talking with each other and meeting each other and sharing photos. Uh, you know, so we're we're really just a couple of bumbling idiots that happen to to organize the thing, 
Uh, but then the crowd really takes over, and it becomes its own entity. And that's that's the exciting part of these photo walks to me. People are always a lot nicer in moments like this than they are in everyday life, too. It's almost like mini Burning Man. Every, everybody gets cool for you know an hour or two at the photo walk instead of a week at Burning yeah. Man. There's something about when everyone has a shared interest and they all come out for this thing that their nice factor goes up by 3x. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what that, what, why that happens, but you're never going to feel uh, lonely or like an outsider or weird at one of these things because people are just so friendly. They're making it fudge. Right? Big. Yeah. In addition to it being a lot of people's first fudge. time through photo walks, so. uh, I just wanted to remind people that not everyone has a DSLR. There's tons of people that I saw who had point and shoots. There are a lot of people taking photos with their uh, cell phones, a couple guys taking photos with their tablets. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to see um, you don't have to be a professional, you don't have to have an expensive camera. It's just a love for photos, for photography. Just come out, have fun, make some friends, and, and take photos together. And then what I really like, actually, about these large photo walks is that it gives us an opportunity to actually break off. So there are a couple of us who like street photos, and so while uh, you guys were down there on the beach and uh, taking photos of the, the pier and taking photos of that Ferris wheel, we uh, just walked up to the pier and then started taking photos of the people, just um, the, the tourists walking around. So it, it's you don't have to stay all together in one clump. You don't have to be a pro. Um, just just come out and have fun. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to mention another um, aspect of photo walks that that I was just told about this week. A guy called uh, John Butterill contacted me about, um, he calls it general support, friends that listen. And it's, it's about inviting people on photo walks who've, who are physically unable to attend a photo walk. Um, you know, maybe they're, they're differently abled or they're, 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 they're ill or there's, there's some reason why they can't come to a photo walk or even visit a, a different location. And he was telling me about photo walks that people are doing where, you, where you're actually broadcasting live with a hangout through a smartphone. And you would uh, mount it on top of a camera and, and then this person would actually say, hey, you know, can you go over there or take a picture of this? And he wondered if it was something that we could do maybe on the next one in Queenstown. And, and I was saying, yeah, that's something, you know, that, that sounds like a great idea. Although, you know, bam, there are bandwidth and connectivity issues where I'm based. But... If that is something that interests anyone, then you know, do check out. They've got a Google Plus page uh, again called uh, "Friends That Listen." Uh, so check that out if that's something that uh, that interests you. I thought it was a really interesting uh, convergence of uh, hangouts and photo walks. You know, combining our two favorite things and for a good cause too. So you know, maybe we could invite people from all over the world uh, to to see some of the places that we're shooting. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I. I... I don't have any inside information, but I expect that pretty soon we're going to be able to start Hangouts from our Android phones. There's really no reason that we can't do that, and uh, that'll be that'll be awesome. By the way, uh, Brian, didn't I see you walking around using one of these new 41 megapixel cell phones? <laughs> was I was I wrong? Yeah. Not you? Yeah, actually, one of the things that you probably don't know about me, I don't carry a cell phone. I do know that. I was shocked when I heard it. How can the how can the guy that runs Google Photos community, one of the top guys at Google, not even have a, not only an Android phone but not even a phone? I can do everything through Gmail, and there's Wi-Fi everywhere. It ends up actually being really liberating not to always carry a phone with me, but um, it does create some issues. But, um, for the most part, I actually like it better. Who, who are you trying to escape? <laughs> <laughs> your, your wife looked really cute. We saw her. Yeah. What's the problem? It's, it's not my wife. It's work. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> if I carry a cell phone, I, I know I'm uh, never five minutes away from an emergency page. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, well, Jessica, could you find a few more photos? I Here. did. Okay, show us five more, and then I'll, I'll share photos from the photo walk, and then we'll probably have to wrap this up here. Is that working? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, so this is... Um... I just want to say, every sure. time you show a photo, all the crew that's here in our house, they all reach around, they, they squeeze around just to come look at it. They're uh, awesome. Great. 
Okay. This was um, at the end of the day with <laughs> the low light. I'll just I'll just go through them quickly. This one, this is an example of using a slow shutter speed to blur the prop so it's a complete um, circle. Wow. This is uh, along Malibu. Oh, that's crazy. So that kind of shot you had, did you like have some sort of like bomb door that you open and shot between your legs? I mean, like down. I actually was down. shooting through the belly of the plane for this sh this photo. Um, there was an opening in the floor of the plane, and I I was pretty much laying laying flat down and harnessed in and just shooting straight down. Incredible. <laughs> Do you ever get hired by movies to to sh to be on set? I have not. No. That's another area you got to get in. Stunt <laughs> photography. It's fabulous. Mm. This is in um, Colorado in the Rockies. Oh, that's so small, Golden Gate. Wow. Why is it so small? Wow. I don't know. I just grabbed a few photos. I guess that was low res. Wow, that's great too. Yeah. What well, were those? Were you? Did you have them go over those lines specifically down in the sand, or? Um, I I had him fly. We we flew a pattern of circles around the sand. Yeah. You didn't draw the lines like you <laughs> else in every other shot. You went down to the sand and put that in there too. <laughs> no. <laughs> like what didn't you prepare? You know, it's like so cool. Cool. Well, thank you, Jessica. So, you're welcome. Finish that ebook. You need to hurry. <laughs> Stop creeping around and taking pictures of us on photo walks. And finish that e <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, sure. Yes, no problem. Okay, all right. Uh, sorry about that. We had some uh, behind the scenes activity in front of the scenes. Uh, let me share a few photos uh, from the event. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen here. Here we go. Let me share this window. Uh, so here I clicked on the tag here, and um, there's so many photos. I've been clicking on this all day, and new stuff comes in. There's a cool one from Daniel Peckham. Um, there's a lot of when we're standing up on this uh, on this thing. And actually, I feel bad. I get tagged with so many photos, but most are okay. Some I actually don't approve because I just look too goofy. <laughs> um, I'm very sensitive. <laughs> You know, unicorns are vain, you know. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry if I don't approve everybody's photo, but I, I get kind of picky sometimes. You know how it is. If you're a girl, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, was that on the beach? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, Karen did it. Oh, wow, yeah. Wait a minute. She's not going to make She marked it as an LA photo walk. It must, must have been yeah. there. Karen's not a liar. That's uh, that's one of the buskers. She's uh, she's over at the pier pretty often. She she hovers kind of near the uh, the entrance to the pier. Oh, wow! You just missed her. Wow, I missed her. That's the thing about photo walks is you walk around and you see you think you see everything, and then you get back, you look at the stuff, and you're like, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, th this thing, <laughs> I can't believe we missed. That. Yeah. We never went to the other side of the pier and completely missed this whole cemetery or yeah. memorial that was that, set up. That wow. giant cemetery doesn't really add to the milieu of a fun circus, though. <laughs> hey, Trey, can you widen your browser window? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Is that good? Even wider, is, even wider if you can. Okay. Yeah. There good. you go. Good, good. Here's, this is kind of a wild one for Daniel, isn't it? Wow. That's uh, really HDR'd up, but I like it. You guys know. It's me. restrained, Trey. It's restrained. <laughs> There's Johnny Yazerman. Probably said that wrong. Oh, no. He, I'm sorry. He reshared Dave Reichardt's photo. Dave, Dave actually had another one that we were looking through that was actually excellent. I don't know if you shared it somewhere, but it was like an after the photo walk. I don't know if you can click on Dave's, but he yeah, had I'm another one. A new tab here. And Scroll down. It might be, it might be there somewhere. That, that one. one. That one I thought was really excellent. By the way, here's a little tip, guys. Did you know that if you click on the timestamp, that it will uh, load it into its own window, and you can just kind of follow this in a tab or something? 
That's a big tip. That is a great photo. Yeah. That is a great photo. Thank you for telling me about that one. Um, here's a bunch. I like it when people load these albums. I actually feel lame. I just do one photo. Some people put up whole albums, which I like. That's David Sheehan. Um, here's Stephanie Roberts with some nice pink and purple tones. Uh, Stephanie Roberts. That's interesting how she did that. Yeah. That's kind of a neat effect. That's, yeah, cool. that's cool. I bet that was all in camera, too. Um, I always admire it when people get special effects in camera. I hate that guy. Come <laughs> stand. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no, I don't want to. Hey, I have a dumb question, you guys. So you guys, I guess you saw my photo, right? Uh, this girl, <laughs> is it this girl, uh, this girl? Yeah, she was the one that... Uh, is that the same girl? I think she was with someone on the photo walk. Yeah, that's no, you see She's carrying this little uh, tripod. Yeah, well, I saw her with somebody uh, during the photo walk. I don't remember who, but... So, uh, I heard all her photos got wiped, too. And, uh, Sage Stevens. Hey, I I think that tripod bag's a, a get so mini traveler tripod. I've got one of those. I saved for years to afford it. She's a pretty cool <laughs> kid. If that's what I think it is. <laughs> she, she was the first kid coach. It was pretty awesome. She uh, she got up on the steps and uh, she was going to be the coach for any of the kids on the photo walk because there were a lot of kids there. Yeah, that's great. Um, here's one from uh, Marina Chen. She did uh, a few black and whites. But very nice and simple. Uh, I like it. There's that girl again. I feel like the only one that missed her. There's, there's the one that Terrence shared. This is one from Deanna Sparks. Good job. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I said that wrong. I'm sorry. There's Jessica. Hey. Hanging out in a helicopter. <laughs> awesome. Can we see you hanging out, actually? <laughs> <laughs> Almost cool. There's, uh, another, there's, there's another nice one of... Oh, this is yeah, me in that. Uh, yeah, I'm the one with the shirt on there. Don't <laughs> <laughs> do the other one. Yeah, he didn't have to like like throw his chest into my shoulder. Just <laughs> <laughs> matter. There's that guy again. Let's scroll past him. Uh, this is this is the wildest name of the photo walk. A uh, sassy man's housen. Um, pretty cool photos from that's my child. Sassy. There's Robin again. She was very nice. There's Ryan. Uh, Frankie. Uh, Jonathan Bentley. Uh, me. Um, there's one from Marina Chen. This is always so cool to me, you know, when you see um, people's photos shared internationally. Um, I think that's the coolest thing. I was talking to Leo about this, and there's something about photos. They're sort of this international language. Now that we're on these social networks, right, that go around the world, you can't read everyone's writing, but there are certain universal things that photos communicate. So uh, in many ways, it's one of the, the coolest ways we can communicate across borders is with photos. So I always like to see these cross-cultural shares. Um, there's Tom looking... Dashing, um, all kinds of stuff. I, you know, I can go through these all night. You're probably getting an idea. This is I'm just, I'm just scratching the surface. Um, so I encourage everyone to go through there and comment, and give feedback, and and that sort of stuff. All right. Well, we should wrap it up. It's been a little bit over an hour here. Um, thank you guys very much for coming. Thanks everyone for coming out to the photo walk. Uh, we'll be doing many more of these um, around the world. Personally, uh, we'll be we'll be organizing them everywhere. Um, but I hope that you guys uh, are kind of inspired to do the same thing in your own community and and meet people. It doesn't matter if it's big or small or how many people show up, because the people that show up are the ones that are meant to show up, and you'll have, you'll have a great time together. Okay. Um, any parting words for you, Tom? Uh, no, but I should just hold up my dead camera. Nobody's gotten to see it. <laughs> oh, right. This is the one that fell in the ocean. I don't know if you can see the big crack. Yeah, let me get the, let me get the, here. How did you retrieve it? Well, this other guy did it, actually. Um, but I, I should reenact this a little bit, because I haven't done it <laughs> in front of a camera. Uh, so my tripod was, was fully extended. 
And it was. You have a good angle. Let me, let me scoot back here. Yeah, let's reenact this. Sorry, we're getting it from multiple angles. <laughs> How about this? Okay, hold on. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I posted about this. My, my camera fell, broke, and went into the ocean. And uh, I was on a pier in Long Beach. And the front leg just started to sink, and I lost balance, and it just tipped over slowly over the railing and fell about 10 feet below, just lens first, right on this concrete thing, and then sort of bounced backwards into the water and sunk <laughs> like this, <laughs> watching the three legs of my tripod <laughs> descend into the depths of the ocean. And this guy just ran. He was running down the pier, and he just grabbed one leg of it and saved the whole thing. But when he pulled it out, where is it? It was completely, like the casing is just totally, it's got these huge cra cracks in it. So if you ever wanted to see a D3S, we don't have light there. Anyway, I'll get in there. Tom, this is the same camera that can survive naked in space, and you st and even you managed to break it. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On this side, too. Can you see that? It's full of seawater. Here, here's all the, I left, this is the part I didn't mm. wipe off. You can just see, like, all the salt on it. So it just, all the salt water rushed in there, and uh, now it'll just be a collector's item for me, you know, just a, a memorabilia, a piece of memorabilia, so... <laughs> Right now, I got a I got a loaner from borrowlenses.com. Thank you guys for sending this over to me. Okay, well, uh, that was just nuts. <laughs> well, thank you everybody. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna bow out. I think the hangout will still go on for a little while. We got to run, uh, but thank you for coming and uh, thanks again for showing up for the photo walk. And we will see you next time. Okay, everyone can wave goodbye now. We'll end the broadcast. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.